Actually, the defensive parts of our game, I thought our forecheck was good and not necessarily in that we scored goals off it, but the hunt back on it, kind of the, then our gap was, was good. I, th I thought um, it was such a strange game, like for the coach anyway, once it gets to 5-1 or 6-1, it's just no fun, right? There's nothing good happens basically after, but I didn't think we came out of structure. I thought, you know, they had a push, the proud team. Um, over 82, you'll get into those every once in a while where everything goes in for you. And we certainly have had a whole lot of nights, especially early this year, where the puck didn't go for us. So it's good for the guys to get to get a chance to have one of those nights. But I, I liked, I thought Sergey was really good in the, in, at the time when the game could have gone either way. And our gap was good and our, our intensity was good for, you know, the, the five o'clock start you always worry about because it's coming off back to back nights and you're on the road for three. But we, we had a good jump today. Sam Bennett, uh, huge game. Yeah. Early on. Just a lot of praise to go around in a game like this, but him in particular, it seems like he really gets up for these games that are, you know, have this kind of. Well, he can, he can play in, in a lot of different styles, but the physical grinding, but fast games are built for him. That's, that's what he's good at. I think. He and Matthew had four points on about 12 and a half minutes because it, it was good. Like one of the quiet things that's happened here is Lundell and, and this road trip. I think it really stood out. Lundell line and uh, Stenlin's line played so very well that I've been able to really flatten out some of the minutes and and not in terms of just holding water. They, they score goals, right? They're out there banging and, and making things happen. So it made us, I think, a little bit more powerful team in that you can go for three and three and four on the road and, and have lots of jump at the end. Even without Aaron Ekblad tonight, you guys, the D brought in on seven of the nine goals. Yeah. Quietly, Dmitry Kulikov had maybe his best game as a Panther, and I don't, this isn't a points thing. His gap stick, uh, Ekman Larson and Forsling have been a really good pair early in the year together and, and played very well tonight. I'm not sure changing, but Josh Mahura hasn't played in an awfully long time, comes in and works his butt off and fits right in. So that defense depth very important for us at the start of the year this year and uh, it came through again tonight. Speaking of Mahura, played all games and yeah. last year. What what does it say about his ability to stay ready? Well it says a lot about his character and, and it also says a lot about his, he wants to be here. He wants to be a part of it. So it's been long stretches and he understands it because we've been a pretty good defensive team. But good for him. I mean it's that's a hard thing to do to keep your passion, to keep you when you're you're staying after extra every day. You get skated on days like yesterday. You go down by yourself or with two other guys and get skated. It's not as much fun, right? So really a strong character game out of him. I'm really happy for him, but I'm happy for us too because that's a really important piece of depth. Do you think there's any kind of message that gets sent in a game like this to a team that's such a big rival of yours? No, I think this is a one-off. I really do, and and we won't be taking more. Some guys have got some points in their pockets on the way out the door, but nobody. Re I don't think these guys really care about that. It's not what drives them, and it's a good road win for us in the package of three that we just had. It is a really unusual game. We won't. I probably won't show. Any, if I show anything, it'll be some of the defensive things that we did with our sticks. It won't. It won't be the offensive part of the game. You kind of like to leave it there. The expectation shouldn't be nine, you know. It should be grind as hard as you can. Six straight games for Bob, allowing two or fewer. Yeah. All season, you as a head coach haven't had to think about the goaltending too much. Just how much of a luxury is that? Well, I don't talk about it. Well, I don't know anything about it, so that works pretty well for me. And uh, But Robbie Tallis works hard, puts effort into uh, getting those guys what they need. Um, he's done a really nice job spelling them off. I think he's really helped Anthony Solertz with his all-around game. So. Goaltending has been very, very good. Thank you. Okay, Thank guys. You, coach. Okay, guys.